All right, guys, so I've been extremely busy this week and really hadn't had time to do much of anything. Been working till working 10 hours a day, six days, and pretty much time I get home, it's almost dark. Let's see, one day I changed the oil in my bike before dark. One day I washed my bike before dark. But, I mean, that's pretty much what's been going on. But today or between yesterday and today I got a whole bunch of parts for the KW so here they are right here and this box right here hang on a second so this box right here I don't know if y'all can tell or not but this is a stack um, it's 80, 84 inches long. And, I don't know, hang on, again. And there it is. Oh, it's beautiful. So, that. We'll go from this elbow up, and I've got a different, I've got a different hanger for for up here, so it's gonna look short. I got a new band clamp to hook it up with, so it's gonna be nice. Got two of them bad boys. Alright, and I told y'all this, this old bumper right here looks pretty rough, but we got a fix for that too. It just happens to be in this box right here. Um, and I don't know, I guess we'll have to hold you on a minute again. So, hang on, we'll unbox this bad boy. Alright, so there that is. Big old wide chrome bumper. And it's made in the USA. It's heavy gauge. I mean heavy gauge steel. And it is pretty. So this is gonna really set this truck off. So we got that. So we're gonna get this old bumper off. And um I didn't notice if it had a place for a license plate mount. And it doesn't. So I don't wanna cut no holes in it. There might be a way I can mount one of them swing license plate mounts on the bottom. No, we'll see. We'll figure it out. So, like I said, we've been been working pretty hard, so we hadn't been able to do much. But this thing's fixing to turn on here in just a little bit. Oh, ugly galvanized stacks will be gone. The big old chrome stacks. Not big old, but nice chrome stacks that be put on there. And uh, I got these. I got these grill pieces here. They came in when the the bumper come in. And uh, so we'll get this thing sanded down and do a little bit of body work right here and get it cleaned up and ready to paint and then we'll paint her up and polish up all the aluminum on it and uh, try to get her looking good like I said we hadn't worked on these wheels at all and I think we sprayed them with acid that's all we did so and then we're gonna clean the frame up and paint it 
So we got lots to do. Just hadn't got it done yet, but we're gonna get to it. Um, like I said we ain't even really cleaned on this side of the truck at all, except for getting the um, lettering off of it. But we'll get there, and it's it's gonna look good. I can't wait. Um, But as you can see, it's already getting dark on me. So. Well, it's hard to see because it's getting dark. But, we're going to... We're gonna get this thing all shined up and all pretty. My good friend got me this tail light bracket. It's a takeoff tail light bracket off of something I don't know what. We'll take the license plate hanger off of it. And we're gonna replace them them lights right there with the bracket we got. We got to do a bunch of cleaning so that we can paint this frame and make it look good. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna get on it. I mean, it's really not got any corrosion on it. I mean, this it looks bad, but it's nothing. I mean, it's no pitting on it at all. So, like I said, we'll get it cleaned up, painted up, and looking pretty. So y'all hang on. I'll show you what she looks like cleaned up. I'm really excited. Um, like I said, that that crack in the fender and this one little hole where it looks like this looks like this band clamp might have got into it. It's about the right height. Or something, something got it right there. It got it in two places. And right there, that looks like it almost looks like them two clamps hit it like a pipe got jacked up or something I don't know but we're gonna fix all that and then we're gonna put a pretty paint job on this thing get her looking good get her all detailed out and everything so like I said y'all hang on it's gonna be awesome I can't wait all right somebody said the other day about about the way this truck cranked up, and it wasn't the truck's fault. I'm used to cranking up these new electronic diesels, and I I didn't hit the fuel. I mean, you got to hit the throttle on these old mechanical trucks. Now this truck hadn't been started in a few days, um, so we'll show you. what it is it was it was not the truck's fault it was my fault because I was ignorant on the the way that this thing's supposed to start so I know a few people have made a comment that I was whining it pretty hard to get it to crank and it was my fault Extremely happy with my parts, my nice stacks. Like I said, I got new hardware for that, and um, so all right. So we got that thing charging. We're starting to take the bumper off, so that's what we're gonna work on while this thing charges up so we'll get back with you all right so it's almost dark 
and the bumper I mean I'm gonna paint the truck but I just had to hang the bumper on here just to see what it's gonna look like and just like I thought it looks amazing so it's a little preview It's a tiny preview. I knew that thing was going to set it off.